Google Ads demographic targeting is a really cool and powerful feature that allows you to further refine who's seeing your ads so that your ads can perform at their absolute best. Not only that, but it also gives you some some really helpful information about who's responding to your ads and you know what demographic of people are getting the best results for your business. So let me start by showing you how to get to the demographics and then we'll take a look at what the different demographics are and how you can optimize for those demographics. So if you're if you have a campaign selected, uh, then in the second column here, you'll see audiences. If you click on audiences, you'll see audience segments, which is a little bit different than what we're talking about here. But right below that, you'll see demographics. And these demographics are, well, what are called uh, Google Ads demographics, right? And you can target people through different demographics, whether it be age, gender or household income. So what I typically suggest is make sure you have a bunch of data selected. So for this campaign, we're going to roll back to a while ago and get really, I mean, ultimately you could do all time here as far as the time that's being shown, which is ultimately going to give you the best data. You want a bunch of data when you're looking at demographics, because if you only have, you know, a couple hundred clicks and a couple conversions, you know, 50 conversions or something, it's not going to give you the most accurate data. So you want to try to select the um, the greatest time frame possible when you're looking at demographics. So now that we have the demographics view set to all time, so we're looking at the demographics from the entire time this campaign is run here, um, now we can start to look at some different variables here. So the first one is clicks. You can choose a bunch of different you can choose cost, you can choose um, cost per click, conversions. I like to do clicks and then either um, total conversions or cost per conversion. Because ultimately we want the greatest number of conversions at the lowest cost, right? So if we look at, uh, if we hover over one of these demographic segments underneath age, it's going to show this little pop-up that says we've got 103 clicks and the cost per conversion is $22.04. From the from the age range of 25 to 34, you have 435 clicks for roughly the same cost per conversion. And 35 to 45 is a little bit higher cost and looks like 45 to 54 is a little bit lower and 65 plus is actually the the lowest cost per conversion. So there's also unknown, meaning that Google doesn't know which demographic area that they fall in. So uh, th now we can look at the actual conversions, the number of conversions. So you can see here that we've had 100 clicks and 17 conversions from the younger 18 to 24 age demographic versus 435 clicks for roughly 70 conversions in the 25 to 34 age demographic. And we can keep looking through this to see, you know, where we're getting the most conversions. So ultimately, if we look at the, if we go back to the cost per conversions, they're all roughly around the same range. If one of these was way higher or way lower, then we might eliminate one of these which you do by clicking these edit demographics button excuse me <laughs> uh, by show table here um, and then from there we're able to pause so let's say we wanted to exclude this demographic from this ad group we could meaning uh, nobody from this age range is going to see the ads in this ad group anymore. So it's by ad group, right? So that's how you're able to remove a specific segment of the demographics from seeing your ads. So let's say the cost per conversion for 18 to 24 was like $50. We're like, well, that doesn't make any sense. Why would we want to pay $50 when the rest of these are converting at 20 to $25? We could go ahead and pause this age demographic here. Uh, so then we can also look at gender. So it looks like uh, males are converting at a lower cost than females, 
they're all roughly about the same. I mean, we're talking about $3 more for females versus males. And as far as total conversions, sometimes it's a little difficult to select here. Uh, 430, we're actually, we've actually gotten more conversions from females. So even though they cost a little bit more, we're gonna wanna leave this turned on in this specific campaign. Uh, just because it's getting a ton of conversions coming through here. And then we can also look at household income. So unknown, top 10%, 11 to 20%, meaning you know, these are the highest earning and these are the lowest earning. So interestingly, right here in the middle is, is the most expensive. It's almost $30 per conversion versus the the lower 50% of income earners are actually some of the lowest cost per conversion. So, you know, we might say, all right, this is a little bit too high. Let's um, let's go ahead and, and uh, exclude those people from converting. Um, you can also add a bid adjustment. So let's say we want to just, we want, we still want these, but we don't want to pay as much. We can decrease the bid by I don't know, say 20%. And instead of bidding $10, it's only going to bid $8 to get a click from that specific demographic, right? You can also increase it. So say we're loving the conversions we're getting from the 41 to 50. We can go down and find those. And you know, we could increase the bid by 20% here. So that's going to go out and spend a little bit more to get more of those people because you know we're already paying less for those and the the conversion value is super high like you can see here it's um 1300 percent essentially um return on ad spend for that demographic so you can just go through and look at these demographics and see you can also adjust these columns here and add in like conversion rate cost per conversion conversion value just so that you can get some more data about what's going on with these different demographics. Uh, we can add in the conversion rate here. As well. So then we can see, I'm going to have to scroll over a bit. Uh, we can see the cost per conversion. We can see the conversion rate. Oh, it's already in here. I just needed to scroll over. So we can say, oh, look, these in this ad group, the 41 to 50 percent household income is only converting at 8 percent versus some of these others that are converting at 24 percent. So we can say, all right, we want to decrease the bid by 20 percent, and then it's not going to spend as much money to get those people. So that's basically how the demographics work within Google Ads. If you have any questions about how to optimize or understand the demographics that uh, you know, are seeing your ads, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to them there. And until next time, take care. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.